this video, I'm going to cover our fourth chapter, that is forces. So we're going to talk about the basic of forces. Okay, so this is the learning objective that we need to achieve. That is to identify the forces acting on a body in different situations where tension, normal force, friction, and external force. Okay, so what it means by force? Okay, so force is a vector quantity that can cause an object to move, stop, change its direction, or change its shape. And the SI unit for force is Newton, that is N or kg meter per second square. Okay, so look at the first picture. Okay, so external force is exerted on the ball as the player kicks the ball at a certain angle. Force exerted on the ball had changed the position of the ball. Okay, so now we proceed with the second picture where it shows pushing force is exerted on the wheelchair. The pushing force caused the wheelchair to move forward. Apart from that, Friction force that oppose the motion of the wheelchair is exerted by the flow. This causes the motion of the wheelchair to slowing down. Okay, next look at tug of war contest where many forces are exerted on the contestant. One of it is tension that is exerted by the rope, friction between the contestants and the cross surface normal force and the last one is weight okay and the last picture show that when we standing on a wagging scale there be weight force being exerted and the normal force is exerted by the surface okay let's go into detail to each of the forces that we had just uh, stated just now so we have five force okay five forces so the first one is weight that exerted on a body under gravitational field or near the surface of the earth. Okay, so the agents for weight is object with mass. Object without mass will have no weight being exerted on it. The well, equation that is can be used to describe of is W equal to 9.1 meter per second square. So the second one is tension. It is a pulling force that is directed away from the object. Okay, so the agent for tension can be spring, rope, wire, and cable. There is no specific equation that we can use to calculate the value of tension. The next one is normal force. Normal force is a force that exerted by the surface to an object in contact with the surface. So we need to have a surface as the agent. And same goes with tension. There is no exact equation that can be used to calculate the normal force. Okay, the fourth one is friction. It is a force that opposes the relative motion of two surfaces in contact. So this force will slowing down the motion of an object. So the agent for friction is a rough surface. So we have equation for friction that's, that is F equal to mu N, where mu is coefficient of friction and N represents the normal force. Okay, and the last one is external force that is push or pull. So there is no specific agent for external force and there is also no specific equation for the external force. This is how you can draw the diagram to represent each of the force. So look at the, uh, the first diagram that is wet. So this is for horizontal surface, okay? And inclined surface, make sure wet always point downward, okay? No matter how, uh, at what angle is your surface, okay? So it always point downward, okay? And for example, for hanging objects, same goes to wet, it will point downward. The second force is tension. Okay, remember the agent for tension is rope, wire, cable, okay? So look at this 
a rope so it is the agent so the tension must be draw in the direction away from the object okay okay the same goes to the second picture if you still have the same rope so it's going to have a same tension okay how about if we have two different rope or two different wire connecting two object okay so we're going to look at this one okay so if we have different rope that is used to connect two object so each of the rope going to have different tension okay so this is how you draw if it have different tension so we have both are t1 that refer to the same rope and t2 refer to the other rock okay okay let's look at the third one normal force so how can we draw normal force we said that the agent for normal force is a surface so when object is located on top of a surface so the force going to be directed from the surface where the object being placed okay so same goes to the other two picture and the fourth one is friction okay so for friction it's quite special because we have two types of friction the first one is static friction fs kinetic friction the second one that is fk okay so how can we differentiate which one is static and kinetic so static friction is when our object is at a stationary state Okay, so we look here at V equal to 0 meter per second. Static friction is the one that being exerted on the object. And when the object is moving at 2 meter per second, kinetic friction is the one that being exerted on the object. Okay, so usually Fs is greater than Fk. This is more force are exerted on a non-moving object okay so back to the equation f equal to mu n and we have mu that is coefficient of static friction or coefficient of kinetic friction okay so that's all for this video bye see you again in the next video